Baptiste Plankert of Wallonia Brussels is also in the frame. He was my uh, sort of cheeky long shot for today in the bright yellow and uh, lipstick red. You can see uh, Plankert's got company here. I think that's uh, Thomas Durette who's also with him as they start to, to dig. Uh, is it going to be a second push from Jan Bakelant on the incline and Wanty? Well, want for nothing with Zambro and Maurice. They've also got Dimitri Place and Gaetjen Beiler who can go for this. We spoke to him at the top of the, the day. Um, undiminished in terms of their um, uh, uh, their drive, it seems. They closed that gap almost single-handedly, but is somebody else going to take advantage? Is that Jonathan uh, Iver, the Frenchman for a Fortuneo Vital Concept up to the front? 2.1 to go. Well, here comes the first attack now then from Fortuneo Vital Concept, and uh, straight away it's... Uh, uh, Pozzo Vivo that's, uh, that's followed that one, they go around this next hip and, um, and this is where the, the climb really starts getting steep. Yeah, great place to attack. You head into a sort of a heart-shaped loop and they'll go, there is the bridge that they'll soon be crossing over. So uh, they'll take a few turns. Of course, this is just the first of that phase. Peter Vinning's managed to stay in touch with this uh, for Rompot in the bright orange. I believe that's Jonathan Iver for, uh, uh, for Fortuneo Vital Concept on the front right now with Pozzo Vivo, who was in that break, didn't want to do too much work too early. Clever stuff maybe from the little Italian from uh, AG Tour Le and He picks it up now and it's he that goes on the attack. Attack. Here's that switch. He's out of sight of many, and he may well be out of sight by the end. Closing him down and staying with him is Peter Vining, the much bigger man, as you can see. Um, that's Gaviria, I think, that's also pushing in. Uh, 1.7 kilometers then, though, now coming over the bridge. Camera can't quite keep up on the rough surface, but the riders are having to take that as well. But still they climb. Still they're climbing, and this is the really difficult bit on the climb, and uh, Pots of Vivo and Peter Vining are really pushing on here now, but straight behind them are one of the Airtex quick step riders and they need to build up a good gap here now for the final kilometer or so big push in i think that's Laurent pichon is it um i don't think it's right back coming back into this one 1.5 kilometers to go then 1500 meters uh, left when they get to the flam rouge um all hell may break break, break loose um, the flam rouge announces a right hand hairpin then two 90 degree left handers a gentle right a hairpin left a uh, a big curve right before a last 90 degree left hander to the line sounds complicated it's certainly is. Yeah, it certainly is. Possavivo still taking the big turn on the front. It looks like Bacalance is on his way back up to that uh, front group of five riders as well. Still bringing a whole bunch of guys with him. So, and here comes a big move on the right-hand side. Roll. Is it Tim Bellens who's, uh, who's having a dig here? Tony Gallopan doing a bit of softening up. Taste Benut was uh, looking lively and uh, suddenly Bacalance realizes as Possavivo goes backwards, Bacalance tries to bridge over. 1,100 meters to go. Yeah, 1100 to go, and I think that is still Gallopan has uh, gone on the move there. Again, well, if it is, that is magnificent. Flam Rouge, can't even see it. Um, that's that uh, 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 right-hander that we were telling about. Uh, next up, it is a double 90 degree. Everyone grimacing here, tongues out, and this looks like a, a solid move and an absolutely perfect moment. Yeah, perfect moment as we're coming in towards these uh, technical turns here now in the final kilometer, and uh, it is very, very twisty and turny indeed. First right hand, second one still to come, and Galapan's just stretching it. He's going for this, digging very, very deep. He was in the move that looked like it had failed, and he's gone again. Super pickup, secondary attack from him. He takes the uh, left-hander. He's got another left-hander to take. This is that 90 degree. Here we are, then it gently bends right, and I think he might well just have this one. Oh, it looks like near-perfect assault. Oh, it's about uh, minor places for just about everybody else. 500 meters remaining. He's got a roundabout to take on and then he can start thinking about uh, the way the road twists and turns to the line has he burnt it too much i think he's he's timed this absolutely perfectly magnus well i still got 400 meters to go or something or something like that and uh, he's been chased down here by etis quick step it's uh, i don't think he's done just yet is that la that's getting back into the frame here they didn't do too much work i think it's christophe laporte actually that's on his case on the barriers but uh, tony gallop 150 meters to go still not quite finished just yet he's got a nasty left hander he might will get caught just at the line 100 meters remaining only oh the camera's too close for us to see i'm afraid who's where but galapan is out front is he going to get into a dream destroyed at the line no galapan holds on it's a cheeky corner at the very last i think it even beat the cameras here baptiste plankard got a great finish there for uh Wallony brussels and peter fakoc chasing on to finish in second place wow 